This month on our ABC of Stunting series, we got something different. Now over the past couple of months, we've taught you how to do the wheelie, the stoppy, the burnout, the drift and the jump. But now we're going to have something that is really hardcore. We're going to teach you how to get your knee down and how to corner really well. To get your knee down, you need proper skill. And that's what we're going to teach you today. We got our rider Rishikesh Manke who's been showing you all the various stunts. But how difficult is actually getting your knee down? Is it easier to do a wheelie than get your knee down? Uh, actually, it's very easier to do uh, knee down. I'll repeat that. Rishi says it is not that difficult to get your knee down. First is getting the tire to grip properly. So what do you do for that? Like first you have to do the warm up lap where uh, you make sure that your tire will be warm. So basic tip is you ride for 15 minutes, 15-20 minutes and ride a little hard so you progress and by the end of the 15-20 minutes your tires will be warm. That is the rule of thumb. So the first tip when you want to get your knee down is body positioning. Normally when you ride, when you're sitting normally on a bike, no matter how hard you lean the bike, the foot pegs will touch but your knee is not going to touch. For that, you need to shift your body like what Rishi is going to demonstrate. So the first thing is obviously you need to move your butt. So half a butt cheek outside the seat. Yeah. So let's demonstrate that. First you have to hold the handle like very light and then you have to like tuck in. Look straight, when you're going straight, you have to look straight and when you want to do the right corner, you have to look on the right corner and move your butt cheek on the right side and your face should be approaching towards to the wrist. There's no need to hang off massively, just one butt cheek needs to be off the seat and that's enough to get your knee down. Also, when flicking it from right to left, do not use the handlebars for leverage. Just lift your butt cheek slightly off the seat and reposition yourself to tip it into the left corner. Now you need a bike that can corner and lean hard without scaring you and the Pulsar NS200 is the ideal companion. The well sorted chassis means the NS can carry high speeds through corners and the suspension stays planted so the bike doesn't move around giving you the confidence to lean it on its ear and consequently get your knee down. But of course you need to get the bike and the tyres to work for you. Now after you've got your body position correct, remember to relax, do not fight the bike say you're doing a left hand corner your left knee is out with your right knee with your foot you push up your knee into the tank so the pulse has got these nice tank creases where you can grip the tank very well and that is what holds the bike so your hands are free on the bike either the front end is moving a little bit that's okay because the bike is adjusting the geometry for you don't fight the bike let the bike do what it wants you hold the bike with your body to turn the bike counter steer that means for left hand corners push on the left handlebar to lean the bike into the left corner. This is the only way to get good lean angles in safety. And then you build up speeds through the corner. Take a familiar set of corners so you know it intimately or better still use a racetrack or a test track that you're familiar with and then build speeds through the corners in small increments. There is no other way until you finally get enough lean angle to get your knee to kiss the tarmac. And that's why you use a knee slider. When you stick your inside leg out, your leather suit has a slider. So this is a knee slider. It's made of very hard plastic. And this is what scrapes the tarmac. Uh, it wears off, uh, obviously it will wear off, but it won't wear off immediately. It's got a hard wearing material. And this is a mark of a guy who can actually get his knee down. To get your knee down, you can't do it with jeans that have got armor in it. You can't do it on riding pants. You have to do it with a proper leather suit because this suit will take the brunt if you slide off, if you fall. And you need the knee slider to get your knee down and to showcase what you've been doing all day. Other important things to remember is gently and smoothly accelerate out of the corner. Sudden acceleration will unsettle the bike and you do not want that. Also, look where you want to go and far ahead so that the sensation of speed is reduced. And do not panic. Fear is the absence of knowledge. But now that you know the technique, you only need to practice. The first time your knee grazes, you might feel a sense of panic. But relax and enjoy your first knee down. And that's how you get your knee down. Now the final question on your mind is, how much can you lean the bike? How low can you go, Rishi? Till the footrest gets great. After that, you don't need to push because that's your limit. 
So basically, if your pegs are touching and your knee is not touching, that means your body position is off or you're doing something else wrong. So revisit this video. But the rule of thumb is if the pegs are scraping, that means you are at the limit of the bike. You need to then develop your riding style to make sure that only your knee is touching and that's how you ride on a track or that's how you ride really well. Finally, guys, do this in a safe, controlled environment. Don't do this on a public road. Don't be a nuisance to others and don't put yourself at risk. And like Rishi here, make sure you're wearing proper riding gear. And that's it from Rishi and myself. Hope you've enjoyed our entire series of the ABC of Stunting. 